We gave it a great deal of thought. If I might comment first on LSD, LSD continues to have a kind of dramatic history in the counterculture movement, Timothy Leary. People's first association to LSD um, is, we might say it carries a lot of weight, positive or negative. Um, LSD is a much longer acting hallucinogen. So in some ways it's impractical to use. We would need um, volunteers or guides to be with a person for 10 to 12 hours which is really a long time. Um, these are very intense experiences to go through. Um, it's really quite rigorous, and sometimes longer is not necessarily better. We want to occasion an experience of going inward in a very deep way um, with trusted guides um, so people can go into their fears and move through them. Um, and clearly experience something beyond their ego. There are many ways of wrapping language around what we hope for. Um, but I think it's a mistake to imagine that six hours is not better than 10 to 12 hours. Um, the counterpoint of that is a drug like dimethyltryptamine, um, depending on how it's administered, can be very fast acting, extraordinarily intense, um, and then the person is back, um, back into an ordinary state of consciousness. Um, but often people will anecdotally report that that was just a mind-blowing experience. Um, it was interesting. They recall fragments of it. Um, but was it useful? So psilocybin, we decided on in part because it has a four to six hour duration of action when it's taken orally. It has a relatively soft onset for most people on an empty stomach or with a very small breakfast. And it allows a kind of arc of experience, a couple of hours of peak experience at the peak of drug action when blood levels of psilocin or psilocybin in the brain are um, at their greatest as it's gradually metabolized. And so the person can go into an experience very gradually, be carried by it, um, and then very gradually notice that it's softening or diminishing. Now, <clears throat> it's also important that this is a drug that doesn't impair memory. Um, some of the other dissociative anesthetic drugs um, can impair memory. It's important for the person to remember what they experienced, um, whether their initial reaction is positive or negative. People often go on to have lots of feelings about a very intense experience like this. Um, and part of the reason why we continue to meet with the person is to really be with them, to integrate, talk about, um, make sense of, find meaning in this. Um, because this is one type of experience that for most people goes far beyond what they might otherwise go on to experience in their lives. So it's such a novel and intense experience. We hope to support the person continuing to learn from it, to grow from it, um, and to find it useful in some way.